Hi Aries, welcome to your reading for Thursday. I hope you're fantastic. Thank you for tuning in to your tarot card reading. So this will be for Thursday, the 9th of June. So angels and spirits, please show us the energies for Aries and what do they need to see or acknowledge coming in for Thursday, the 9th. But this could also be timeless. It could be just for whenever you come to this particular video. So let's see what we have here for Aries first house. Seven of coin. Thinking about your money, investments, time you're spending on something, um, wanting a return on your investment, wanting to get paid. Thinking about how to make your finances grow. Oh wow, and the challenge um, or supporting energy is you will get there. Nine of coin. Um, there could also be an earth sign that you're thinking about or they're thinking about you, but the main energy is the seven of pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, money, career, finance, and you, there is something supporting you about someone doing quite well on their own. Wow, so you will get this offer, okay. So there is an offer, a new seed being planted, something new is coming in. Um, okay, what do we have here in the past for Aries? Two of Pentacles, trying to make things work or juggle. Um, could be, you know, doing multiple things, working multiple jobs. Some of you could be thinking about starting your own business. Four of Coin. So you're saving every penny. Um, you could also be aware or on your mind as someone who's very closed off, kind of selfish, um, or someone who's fearful about spending. Okay, Four of Cups comes into the future. Someone who really, it could be you don't want to connect with someone. Wow, your energy is like, you feel, like someone hurt you in the past. You feel like, I think in a way you haven't let it go. Um, there's a person here who may have hurt you. We have a high priestess. Um, strong intuition about a situation. Someone could see you as very special. I'm feeling like so you want to make sure like you don't get mad at someone someone could see you as very special like high priestess is a very special spiritual you know tarot reader spiritual um, person someone who has a lot of knowledge and secrets of maybe the afterlife or something like that your energy is the moon And what you're hoping for is the moon, or you could be afraid of the moon. King of coin, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo is the outcome of this situation. Um, it could be you become very successful through saving or not telling people what you're doing. Um, what is the five of swords here? Page of Cups. Okay, so somebody comes towards you with a message of love and you could be sort of still, you're not, you haven't healed. Okay, we have a Ten of Pentacles here coming in. Money, wealth, abundance, long-term security. Um, now, there could be a water sign coming towards you wanting to get to know you. Um, you're kind of resisting any connection to someone. What is the Four of Cups? 
Why is there a Four of Cups here? Okay, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Hermit card. This could be a Virgo, but it looks like a water sign. Someone is trying to come towards you, and there's this energy of resisting or pushing someone away. Um, Seven of Rods, King of Cups, and a Hermit. So someone is coming out to tell you how they feel. What is the Ace of Coin underlying? Knight of Cups. Yep, they're coming towards you to tell you how they feel. Um, they see you as a high priestess. Spiritual. Connected to the divine. Connected to the otherworldly things. What is the Four of Coin you're finding out about? So maybe somebody can't let you go. The world. Okay. Something's run its course. There's a great success or achievement. Okay, the Lovers and the Page of Swords. It could be that somebody is still holding on to you. They may have broken up with someone and they're still holding on to you. Knight of Coin. Queen of Coin, a rebirth. So this could be a rebirth that would make you feel very happy, um, Aries, because the sun is behind all this the, and the emperor. There's something here that is about someone coming back around with the chariot. Okay. So this looks really, really good, but it looks like you don't want it when this person comes around. What, why? King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius? Who is this adult masculine? Page of Cups. Okay, so somebody comes towards you with a message. Um, wow, they're coming in with the chariot energy. I think that there could be a chance that you don't like their attitude. Like they could have trauma and they're, they have a chip on their shoulder. Somebody probably was dumped. <laughs> and what's the four of coin? They haven't let you go. Six of air, somebody returning to you. Hermit. Looks like Virgo, but it could be somebody who wants to come out of the Hermit Cave now. Crossroads. Who is this King of Coin? Wow, this is craziness. We have a Two of Cups and a Ten of Cups. So, you have a partnership with someone. They do want to come back around. I think with the Five of Swords, there's something where you haven't forgiven them completely. Knight of Coin. They're coming slowly with the truth. Okay. They're coming slowly with the truth. Page or Knight of Coin is here. Knight of Coin is here. Okay, so let's pull from the Kipper and see what's coming up here for Aries. A gift. Nice. Some kind of gift is being offered or given. Okay, what else are we getting here for you? Somebody is still thinking about you or is thinking about you. You're on their mind a lot. Distant horizons. Something about travel. Oh, high honor. Wow. Someone holds you in high regard or there is something about a high honor. Mature man in community. Okay. Could be a parent, a grandparent, something like that. The house is underlying with the lovers and the despair. Okay, that's underlying. It didn't pop out, so I don't want to focus on that. Um... Somebody may have had someone break up with them and they're they're still holding on to you, Aries, and they want to see if, um, if you'd like to get to know them still. 
Okay, Sixth Chakra, Archangel, Metatron, which is the new beginning. Uh, it's also about intuition. Many doors are opening. Journey. The Garden and the Gate. An Attachment. Indecision. And then the Healer of the Ages. This is like a divine blessing. It's either a partnership or a job because there are pentacles and there are cups there. Um, let's pull again from the Kipper and see what's going on. Show us what's happening for Aries. Expectations. Wow, imprisonment. It just means somebody feels trapped. It doesn't necessarily mean jail. You're getting a message here and there's something about a journey. Okay. The line energy is change and a thief and a main male. Let's see what else. Oops. Show us Aries here. Show us Aries. Privileged lady. Okay. Underlying energy was an ace of coin, a gift or an opportunity or something to do with um, a job or an occupation. Okay. I'm going to leave this here for you, Aries. This is your daily read for, um, uh, for Thursday. Thank you for tuning in and take care.